بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کل عام ارمائن تم خیر بھی مناسبت شہر رمضان مبارک انشاءاللہ تری ایم ویل بی تیکنگ اللہ ایر تائم دا منت رمضان اس دا منت اف صلاة دا منت اف دا قرآن دا منت اف دا منت اف فرگیبنس دا منت اف لاغ انشاءاللہ رمضان یو وانا دو یور ویش بیت other than your wish bait, I want to say you want to do your mustahabbat. One of the mustahabbat, the most important mustahabbat, is uh, to pray salat al The Prophet Muhammad said, salat al is the best prayer to pray that is not wajib. So it's the best mustahab prayer that you want to pray. He also said, the Prophet also said, you want to pray salat al the best time to pray it is before salat al fajr that doesn't mean that, so if you're not sure that you're not going to wake up before Salat al-Fajr, just pray it at night. You could pray it from uh, 10 o'clock to Salat al-Fajr. The next topic I want to get into, which is another mustahab, is Qira'at uh, al-Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-Asr. Inna l-insana lafi khus. Illa al-ladheena amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil-haqqi wa tawasaw bil-sabr. There is a hadith that states reading one ayah of the Qur'an during the month of Ramadan is like reading the whole entire Qur'an. In the whole entire Qur'an, there are 6,200 hadiths, 6,200 ayahs. So reading the whole Qur'an during the month of Ramadan is like reading the Qur'an 6,200 times. Imam Ali said, through Qur'an, greatness is achieved. What he means by that is reading Qur'an, and if you follow what's in the Qur'an, that means greatness is achieved. So if it says to do your wajbat in the Qur'an, which obviously it does, you want to do your wajbat to acquire greatness, and he says, like, that's the best life you can have. Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Another reason to read the Qur'an during Shahari Ramadan Mubarak is to build a better relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala overall. It is, there's hadiths that state reading Qur'an during Shahari Ramadan, even if it's not during Shahari Ramadan, reading Qur'an, you build a better relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you just purify yourself even more. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا نزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر نزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر. There's an event that happens every year in the last ten days of Ramadan. The event is called ليلة القدر. It started yesterday. It's a something that occurs for three days. It's a three day. It occurs uh, May 23rd for this year, May 25th, and May 27th. Laylat al Adil is when you go to the mosque, you pray, you do, you read da'a, you sabbih, you you just do your wajbat. It's for the death of Imam Ali alayhi salam. It is stated in uh, Surah Al Qadr, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, Inna Zalnahu fi Laylat al Qadr, wa ma adraka ma Laylat al Qadr. ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربها من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر. The third verse. ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر. That verse means doing wajbat and doing the mustahabat during the night of power, ليلة القدر is better than a thousand months than you do the salat. So I'm like. Trying to inform you guys to do your wish bed, your mustahab bed during the night of power, which is May 23, May 25th, and May 27th. Like I said, I also want to say, I also want to say that Imam Ali alayhi salam said, doing your wish bed and mustahab bed during the night of power is like 83 years of religious acts. So, what he's trying to say by that is, if if you're doing your wajbat during the night of power, you're sulling, you're, you're reading dua, you're not mitzabbih. He's trying to say, if you're doing it right, not just sitting on your phone and doing like that. If you're doing it right, it's like 83 years of uh, religious acts. One thing, when we, 
like the hot topic I want to get into is uh, the istighaba, like uh, backstabbing people during Shahar Ramadan. One thing I want to say is, if you're in Shahar Ramadan, even if you're not in Shahar Ramadan, you don't want to backstab anyone. For example, if you start Shahar Ramadan with five friends, you want to leave Shahar Ramadan with more than five friends or the same five friends. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that istighaba is the worst sin you can commit in Islam and that's the, like you don't want to commit it. It is also Imam Ali alayhi salam narrated that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said if you backstab someone even though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Rahim, he's, he's not gonna hamak because you gotta go to the person that you talked about and you gotta beg for his forgiveness. If the person doesn't accept your, doesn't give you forgiveness, no, they say you better hope for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy to do that. Even if you're listening to somebody talking about someone, al and nafs So, your friend is talking about someone, you have to stop him from talking about that person. So if somebody, your friend is talking about someone, he's talking about him, but no, don't talk about him anymore. Because they say you know, it's the same thing, hearing to him and talking about him is the same thing. Another topic I want to get into is there's people that fast just to eat. So there's people that say, oh, I'm about to fast and then when I go home, I'm about to eat all the food. What I want to say to that is that's not the right way to fast. You want to fast with purpose. What I mean by purpose is like uh, fast to get a better relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fast to purify your body because there's hadiths that say that fasting cleans out your body like you need to fast let like you uh, shah ramadan wisely just like to read quran read dua. don't waste your time because like uh like i said earlier reading quran during shah ramadan reading one ayah is like reading the whole quran so you want to use your time wisely the most like one of the most important mustahab ads that i want to get into this is the final thing is going to the markas. You want to go to the markas as much as you can, mostly in Shah Ramadan. Like I said, it's mustahab. It's the same as Salat al -Lil. It's the same as reading Quran. You want to go to the, you want to go to the markas as much as you can. There's a hadith that states, well, praying in the markas, is, uh, you get extra days for praying in the markas. It's also wajib if you, if there's a markas next to you, like you live and there's a markas right next to you, it's wajib to go to the markas and pray. And uh, same thing with the Salat al Jum'ah. There's hadith about it in the Quran to go to Salat al Jum'ah. And like uh, I Ibrahim around all the Marrakesh to Salam al and you know, be everywhere. And like I want to see all you guys there, inshallah. And uh, don't forget to do your wajbat and your mustahabat even outside Shahar Ramadan. Don't only do them in Shahar Ramadan because if you're only doing them in Shahar Ramadan, you're just wasting your time. Just to do much Shah Ramadan, then stop doing that. That's not good. You gotta do your wish bit and try doing as much mustahabat in Shah Ramadan. If you can't do mustahabat outside Shah Ramadan, that's good, but at least you do your wish bit. That's all I wanna say. Aflaha man salla ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Al Fatiha Allah Rahman 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 سلم على الشيخ سلم على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد قرت عيونك يا سيد حسن إن شاء الله الله سبحانه وتعالى يجعله من الداعين إلى سبيل الله وإلى طريق الله وإلى طريق أهل البيت صلوات الله وسلامه عليه أجمعين وأنا أشيد بكل الأولاد والشباب أن يتعلموا من هذا السيد كيف تمكن من أن يلقي كلمة حول شهر رمضان وفضائل شهر رمضان والأمور الواجبة والمستحبة في هذا الشهر حقيقة أعجبني كثير وأعجب سماحة الشيخ وأعجب الحضور كل الجميع والله يبارك فيه إن شاء الله ويكثر من أمثاله ونتمنى الآباء يحثون ويشجعون أبنائهم على أن يسيروا على نفس الطريق وهو أيضا أذكر أنه من طلاب مدرسة الإمام جعفر الصادق أحسن. الذين كانوا هنا أحسن. و...
الحمد لله أنفاس الإمام الصادق وأنفاس أهل البيت وأنفاس أجداده إن شاء الله تكون مصحوبة معه في حله وترحاله ويتطور شيئا فشيئا إن شاء الله ببركة الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل الفرج اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل على محمد أمير المؤمنين الثالثة بأعلى أطوار